Component number four, time forearm plank. Equipment and verbal instructions. Equipment, U.S. Air Force approved timing device. Floor mat, optional. Must be full length of the body. Instructions must be read before the start of the test along with a short demonstration. The forearm plank will be performed on a flat level surface. An exercise mat may be used. The member must be entirely on or off the exercise mat. Upper body of the member cannot be on the exercise mat with feet off. The event will consist of maintaining a proper forearm plank position for the maximum time allowed. The PTL will record time with a stopwatch to the nearest second and will announce start as well as 15 second intervals. Members will begin face down on the floor with elbows bent, forearms flat on the floor slash mat, with the body in a straight line through the head, shoulders, back, and buttocks and legs. Elbows must be aligned directly below the shoulders at a 90 degree angle between the forearm and upper arm. Hands will be in a fist with the pinky side of the hand touching the floor or lying flat with palms touching the floor. Forearms may be parallel or angled inward, but the hands cannot be joined together. Feet must be placed hip width apart. Hips must be lifted off the deck with only the forearms, hands, and toes on the floor. Knees are straight, pelvis in a neutral position, and back flat. The back, buttocks, and legs must be straight from head to heels and must remain so throughout the test. Toes, forearms, and fists or palms must remain in contact with the floor slash mat at all times. Folding of hands is not permitted. No other part of the body may contact the vertical support surface. Involuntary muscle spasms, shaking, trembling, and quivering resulting from maximum exertion during the exercise is anticipated and permitted as long as the proper forearm plank position is maintained. Forearm plank ends when the maximum time for the forearm plank has elapsed or until the last participant stop prior to the maximum time allowed. Any part of the body other than the hands, forearms, or feet touch the floor, member lowers head to hands, member lifts hands, forearm or feet off the floor, or member does not maintain 90 degrees at the elbow. If the member receives more than two corrections on the form, the third correction will stop the assessment and the time will be recorded. This will be the official forearm plank time score of the member.